That's a whole different thing. That's I talked about it before, that in some cases, the correction of the soul is to be born in a non-Jewish body. Now, I don't like using the word punishment. I like using the word atonement or cleansing or reaction. But in essence, when the soul comes to any type of reincarnation, you can call it a punishment to the soul, but it's not a punishment. Rather, it's an atonement and a, a, a refinement to something that she did, the soul did a sin. Let's say I lied, I, I made a sin on my, a, a stain on my soul. I can be Torah observant. I can pray three times a day and learn Torah and keep Shabbat and do everything. But I sometimes, once I lied and one time I looked at the wrong place and one time I cursed and one time I gossiped and one time I didn't pray and one time I missed here. I'm not a perfect person, I'm a human being. So when, when I have to correct something, Sometimes what I have to correct is not so severe. So sometimes, when, not sometimes, when I make something bad, you, you know, it's almost like me now taking a rock, throwing it at the window, smashing the window. So the on owner of the window tells me, well, I'm upset. Just fix the window. Now I don't have money, so I have to go now and work the whole summer to fix the window. And this is a real true story. When I was once a kid, I kicked my ball into the neighbor's house and I smashed, they had this huge, beautiful stained glass window like this, something huge. I smashed it into pieces, okay? So I had to work the whole summer to fix it. My father had to put the money because the neighbors were very upset. And my father told me, you were reckless. You now go and work. Instead of going to camp, you're going to go and work and you're going to pay for the window. Now, um, can I c complain to anyone? Uh, even though I was a young teenager, I had to take responsibility. I smashed the window. So now I have to go and work, and instead of enjoying my, f my time in the pool with my friends, I'm working, I'm carrying boxes. So same thing, the soul did something in this world. God says, no problem, I understand. Go back and work and fix it. So what about a non-Jewish soul going into a Jewish There's no family? There's no such a thing as a non-Jewish soul. There's a Jewish soul born into a non-Jewish body. A Jewish soul, there's not such a thing a non-Jewish soul being converted. It's not going to be converted. That, in most cases, don't happen. Somebody, a non-Jewish soul that come back here into a Jewish body, that I never heard of and I didn't see any source to it, and probably most likely it doesn't happen. First of all, a lot of the people, some people say that by hypnotism, how do they do it? Yeah. Because the soul has a memory of all the reincarnations. But the soul, what we know, what the soul knows, and what we know is maybe 1% of what the soul actually remembers. The soul knows everything. Just that when the soul is in the body, it doesn't remember anything. You know, also when we are in ma our mother's womb, then the, the, the baby that's in the mother's womb there's an angel above the baby teaching the baby Torah, the whole nine months. Then the soul, the body, the baby comes out of the womb and the angel hits the baby on the mouth and makes him forget the entire Torah. What's but the reason for this? What's the reason? Yeah. Because if we would know the entire Torah, then we beat the point of why we came here. The whole point in this world is that you have to earn and to work for it.